What special sauce makes Gemini better than GPT-4? We're about to dive into this intriguing question. If you're passionate about cutting-edge AI technology, this is the video for you. First, let's examine Google's core statement about Gemini. Google's Gemini is the first model to outperform human experts on the MMLU benchmark, standing for Massive Multitask Language Understanding a critical measure of AI model's knowledge and problem-solving abilities. Let's delve deeper into this benchmark. Developed by DeepGram, MMLU assesses the knowledge and problem-solving abilities of large language models across a diverse data set covering multiple subjects. It evaluates LLMs in two settings, zero-shot and few-shot, gauging their ability to learn new information and apply it effectively. In the few-shot setting, LLMs are given access to a small amount of training data for a new subject before answering questions about that subject. This setting measures how quickly LLMs can learn new information and apply it to solve problems. In the zero-shot setting, LLMs are asked questions about subjects they have never seen before. They must rely on their general knowledge and reasoning skills to answer these questions. This setting measures the breadth of knowledge that LLMs have acquired during pre-training. So how does Google's Gemini differ from OpenAI's GPT-4? To answer this, let's explore what Gemini offers. We'll break it down step by step. Sundar Pichai highlights Google's mission to organize the world's increasingly complex information, underscoring the need for groundbreaking AI. Demis Hassabis introduces the Gemini era, a leap towards a universal AI model that could significantly benefit humanity. Gemini will be available in three sizes, each tailored for specific needs. Gemini Ultra, the largest and most capable model designed for complex tasks. Its release date is yet to be announced. Gemini Pro, suited for a wide range of tasks, but for now, this version is integrated into Google Bard only for some countries, including the US. Gemini Nano, efficient for on-device tasks, ideal for mobile applications like on the Pixel 8 Pro. Gemini is built as a multimodal AI model from scratch, capable of understanding and combining various information types, including text, code, audio, images, and video. But let us hear it from the creators themselves. Human beings in our society would have five senses and the world we built and the media we consume is in those uh, different modalities. Gemini is our largest and most capable model. It means that Gemini can understand the world around us in the way that we do. So not just text, but also code, audio, image, and video. Gemini's design, modeled on human multimodal learning, allows it to process information concurrently from multiple sources, mirroring how children integrate sensory inputs for learning and interaction. This could represent a paradigm shift in AI perception and processing, aligning closer to natural, human-like understanding. Other frontier transformer models like GPT-4 were initially billed with text as the main driver and then separately upgraded with vision capabilities. But let Google DeepMind speak for itself. The Gemini approach to multimodality is all the kinds of things you want uh, an artificial intelligence system to be able to do. And these are th capabilities that haven't really existed in computers before. Traditionally, multimodal models are created by stitching together text-only, vision-only, and audio-only models in a suboptimal way at a secondary stage. Gemini is the multimodal from the ground up, so it can seamlessly have a conversation across modalities and give you the best possible response. As mentioned, they have built a new kind, or let's better say, a new breed of transformer model that was designed to be multimodal from the ground up. To understand the importance of this architectural decision, we haven't to look far. We human beings are built multimodal from the ground up. We have five different senses. Each sense forms a different interface to the physical world. 
If you look closely at how children learn, you'll notice that they don't rely on a single sense, but rather integrate information from multiple sources, sight, sound, touch, taste, and smell to understand and interact with their environment. This natural multimodality is not just about perception, it's about integration and interpretation. Children correlate the sound of a voice with the sight of a person speaking, or the texture of an object with its appearance. This integrated learning approach is deeply embedded in our cognitive development, allowing us to comprehend complex concepts and environments more efficiently. In a similar vein, Google's Gemini AI, with its inherent multimodal design, mimics this aspect of human learning and interaction. By processing different types of information, text, images, audio, and more, concurrently, Gemini can potentially achieve a more nuanced and comprehensive understanding of the tasks at hand. It's not just about recognizing words or images in isolation, but understanding the context and interplay between different types of data. Again, this approach could mark a significant shift in how AI models perceive and process the world around them, moving closer to a more natural, human-like understanding. The implications are vast, from more intuitive human-computer interactions to more sophisticated processing of complex, multifaceted datasets. Just as a child learns to navigate the world using all their senses, Gemini's multimodal capabilities could herald a new era of AI that interacts with and understands its environment in a more holistic, integrated way. Gemini Ultra has demonstrated impressive results, outperforming human experts on the MMLU benchmark with a 90% score and surpassing the current state of the art in most of the 32 key academic benchmarks for LLMs. However, there's a caveat. The showcased videos are highlights, and tech companies often present their best cases in marketing materials. While Gemini claims an edge over human experts and GPT-4, the margin of its success is relatively narrow. And remember, GPT-4 was released in March 2023, with training completed even earlier, while Gemini Ultra's release is still pending. This leaves room for speculation about OpenAI's next move. We are living in a remarkable era of technological advancement. With the tools at our disposal, almost anything is possible. It's time to move forward towards your vision of the future.